Hi, my name is Vicki. I'm with uh, Condi Systems Tech Support, and I want to show you a neat little feature, feature in Corel Draw. Uh, this is X3, but it should work with all your Corel versions. Um, how to use the um, cut tool uh, is uh, the bizarre tool to cut out a shape, and um, maybe say you want to cut the background out, for instance. So basically, that's what it is: it's to get rid of the background and uh, take the shape that you've you've taken and place it onto something else or or not place it um, just use it um, you know however you want so let's get started um, come over here to your uh, tools on the left you're looking for your um, bizarre tool which is right here and uh, that tool basically will make a shape and as you can see we can uh, connect it and we can make a shape so that's what that tool does um, we're going to cut out an image here just for um, showing you how to use the tool or to cut a background out and um, so to zoom in I can use my mouse wheel and just kind of zoom in on it so I can get a closer view so your mouse wheel will roll in and out and I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to start going around. Um, if you mess up, you can do a Control Z. Control Z will undo something that you've done. Um, and I'm just going to kind of click around it. And it doesn't have to be perfect for now, but if you were uh, using this tool for um, a particular project and you wanted to be it to be more or to be perfected you could probably take a little more time than I'm taking here um, I just basically want to show you um, how to use the tool and the purposes of the video is to cut out the background so I'm just going to quickly go around this just to give you some the gist of what's happening and again there we go we have connected the dots and um, now we're ready to um, cut out the background so just to show you how this works um, I'm just going to as you can see we have a complete uh, completed circle here control Z to undo that and now what I want to do is to um, get rid of the background so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to effects power clip place in container and uh, sorry hang on one second pick tool and effects in container and there I have it in container now what I have done is now I just need to edit it so I'm going to right click and edit the contents and I want to place it in here so that so that I can see it better so I'm going to follow the lines here and once I have it somewhat in the lines the way I've drawn it out I'm going to finish editing object I can click it here to finish editing or I can right click and scroll down to finish editing and there I have my cutout image and that's how it works for uh, cutting out the background and I can take and place this image say for instance to make a fourth um, flower I can place it in here or turn it however I want to with my rotation tool and there oops, I have another image and then I click outside the box and now I have four flowers um, with my black background and that's how you would go about uh, getting rid of a background uh, inside Corel by using your 
Bezier tool and uh, your power clip tool together. Again, my name is Vicki with Condi Systems and uh, I hope that this video has helped and if you have any questions or concerns you can call me here at Condi. I'm in the support department. Thank you for your time.